This is Sunday, November 13th, 2022. I just cleared the chart. I'm going to start from scratch with the top-down analysis and uh, get a sense for how we want to play the upcoming week. First glance at the weekly chart, we've been in a downtrend. We took this swing low here and started the consolidation and we pushed up, came back down, couldn't make a new low. And we had this aggressive move higher based off of the CPI news, uh, lower than expected CPI from this past week, closed right at the high, created a new uh, engulfing uh, order block and seemed to be inclined for higher prices into the future. So let's keep an eye on some of these weekly levels in the coming week. And I just want to skip to the monthly really fast and see that monthly we are operating inside this imbalance and could see this entire imbalance fill, which I think is a very likely possibility unless we see a breakdown happen before that level on the lower time frame. Um, but this is a nice target for higher prices. If we switch down to the daily chart, again, we've had two consecutive up days with strong closes, and I would look to see a low of the week form uh, Monday, Tuesday for potential buy. And I will just put this in blue, and I would look at somewhere around this daily level, a trade opportunity, and perhaps below this daily level into this imbalance, we could see a nice buy opportunity form there. So if we get any obvious setup early in the week around these levels, I will be interested in buying. I do not expect a deep reversal. I think the market was heavily bearish. News was negative prior to CPI. And uh, I think that the market is inclined to not offer any uh, opportunities for bears to get out of their trades. And I think those liquidations are gonna just force price to continue to go higher. Especially since we have this daily imbalance right here that uh, is likely to get filled or potential to get filled. So I think if we're gonna go up big, these are some areas that I would be targeting. We could of course just see a consolidation in a couple for the first couple of days of this week or into this week. I think options are expiring at the end of the week. And um, it wouldn't surprise me if we really um, just sort of worked in this general range here between 11.9 and 11.5 more or less, and just kind of, just kind of worked it back and forth. That's a possibility as well. Let's jump down into the four hour. We might see some resistance here, but I do still like this structure. I love these bullish candle closes, a lot of strength, a lot of wicks here to the downside. Really, there's really just no indication of lower prices. So we've got this imbalance, we've got these two down candles, and I think it's very possible that we just find some support here and continue higher. I like this. We spike the low, engulfing candle, inside bar, almost an inside bar as well, and then we break out, close at the high, come back, retest. So the market may open on Sunday and just right away move higher and not stop. Very possible. So we'll just have to see what happens come New York session on Monday there's any obvious opportunities. Um, but I like higher prices heading into next week. Let's take a peek at the dollar index. On the monthly, this candle has not closed yet, but certainly looks like it's searching for some support here. So let's see where it could find some support. This is the first, just based on the monthly, the first level that I would be just keeping an eye on and uh, clearly it lines up on the weekly as well. This area, this demand area pushed up, created this imbalance and uh, this looks like it could be a good support. But that doesn't mean it has to support, it could probe deeper and start consolidating. So I'll just keep an eye on, the, on this area here on the daily chart. 
it's really too early to tell, but clearly we're expanding lower. So once I get some kind of indication that we might be breaking structure, um, losing a high here, start accumulating, um, then that might make, make me uh, change my view on NASDAQ longs, but it's too early to tell right now. For now, we just have to take what we're, get, what we're getting and um, just stay with the trend because right now the momentum is bullish. And until we get any kind of a reversal pattern on the daily or four hour, then uh, I wouldn't want to be shorting this beyond just an intraday scalp. So that's it for today. We'll uh, check back in on the on Monday's review and see what what sort of price action we get, and we will go from there.